Hey guys, welcome back to the Beamer Dude channel. Thanks for tuning in. As you can see, we're in a new location of the Beamer Dude garage. We got an exciting day. We're starting the wide body build. You don't want to miss out, so stay tuned. So if you've been watching my channel, you know that we're doing the wide body build, the Pandem Rocket Bunny style kit on the E36 M3. If you didn't know that, yeah, that's what we're doing. So it's been a long standing dream of mine to actually do a build like this on the E36, just have a wide body car in general. It's kind of a big fad right now, but I've been thinking about doing this since I was like 10 years old. So uh, thankfully I'm in a position to where I can actually do it financially at this time. And it's for a good cause. Uh, I'm going to be dedicating all the proceeds, all the orange sweatshirts that you see on the website. After this video goes live, we're going to go to cancer research. Uh, I recently lost my father to cancer, and this is something of a somewhat of a project that uh, I wanted to try to uh, basically share with him. Didn't really get a chance to. So uh, make sure you guys go out and pick up a orange hoodie from the Beamer Dude Automotive Garage. All the proceeds go straight to cancer research. I don't get any of it. But um, it's without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started with the build. Uh, we do have a friend coming over a little bit later. It's so my good friend Alex. Uh, he has a YouTube as well. He has a, a really awesome, uh, really unique E36 convertible, turbo convertible. Uh, he's going to be coming. He's going to be doing a little bit of filming for me. Once he gets here, he'll be here about, about 45, 50 minutes. So uh, I'll hand the camera over to him. And uh, he's going to do some of the filming for me today. It's going to be a little bit different. Uh, we're going to try to do this build a little bit different than anything we've done for the Mini Cooper. Um, this is going to be more of a vlog style, not really a how-to, but I want to bring you guys along for this build series. Uh, we're going to be calling this an E36 wide body build series. So um, make sure you guys stay tuned. Uh, you don't want to miss out. Uh, but without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to get this other car out of the garage. It's kind of in the way so that I can get a good shot, but uh, let's get started, guys. to the car. Uh, I'm taping up to the area that I'm going to be tracing. Um, I'm going to use the line of the fender, the fender line right here, kind of take a step back and uh, trace out a line on the tape uh, of the eyesight line so you can see, or so you can just see where you can't see the actual cut. Um, one of the things about this kit is that you actually have to cut so much. Uh, it's a little nerve-wracking, but uh, I know that once I get the first cut done, uh, we're, well, we'll, uh, there's no turning back. So uh, that's what we're doing right now.
All right, guys. So uh, we are. We just got the whole radius cut. I used the angle grinder. The body saw didn't really do that great. Uh, don't really know. Maybe it was just by design, but it just didn't seem to have enough bite. So um, I cut the rest with the angle grinder, as you guys saw. I tried to get the best radius. I scratched this line out with uh, a drill bit to give me kind of a baseline of what I needed to cut, but pretty much that's done. So we're going to go ahead and get the wheel on here, put the adapters on, get the wheel on, and bolt the fender on and see how it looks. So we got the other side uh, all mounted up. I'm not going to show you guys that right now. Uh, I'm going to make you guys wait until the end. So I apologize. If you want to skip to the end of the video, I'll leave uh, the time, uh, the exact time where that is right here. And you can go there and see the video for that if you don't want to stick around for the end. So uh, we're going to go ahead and radius cut this right here. I've already trimmed it out. I scratched it here on top of the tape. We're going to cut that out and hopefully that's uh, enough. I am really concerned about how much material I actually have to cut. So a uh, little nerve wreck, but uh, I already cut the front, so might as well be cutting the rear. So let's get to it. So after you, after you saw uh, me cut through all those layers of metal, uh, I, um, I basically cut along the seam uh, where the metal is joined together down here instead of actually cutting through both uh, layers uh, of the fender. As you know, there's an outer layer and there's an inner layer. I basically cut a radius around the outside, a radius around the fender line, and I should be able to literally pull on this sheet metal here, tug it out, and um, we should be pretty good because the sheet metals are very close between the two for the outer layer and the inner layer. Uh, I'm not going to be doing any welding today, but I, the plan is to weld the seam weld, the seam that's open all the way around here. So let's get this pulled off of here, see how it looks, and we can go from there. <laughs> Yeah. Alright guys, uh, so I know this looks like a hot mess, but let me explain what's going on here. Um, so we have this inner layer, we have this outer layer cut out. Uh, we noticed that there was a, uh, another third layer on the inside here, so we basically had to cut out this section right here. I did it on this side already, you guys can see I did it off film. But uh, I'm going to show you guys this portion of it. Uh, it literally has just this much um, on the third layer. Uh, there are tack welds here, some spot welds. Um, that welded this section closed, but we're basically just going to cut along the seam right here And then we'll be able to cut all these relief cuts Here and then we can bang everything up and then we can uh, at least test fit today before we call it a day So, uh, 
uh, as you just saw, um, we just, um, just really jacked this fender up here. <laughs> uh, I cut the relief cuts in a, such a way that I could actually bump it up and it actually meets the new fender line, the radius here. Um, this is actually really good because uh, instead of actually cutting this excess off, which most of the people that actually do wide bodies actually do, they actually take a wire, uh, take a cutting wheel to these extra excess pieces and then tack weld the spaces together. Instead of doing that, I'm actually considering leaving this on here and um, creating a new outer fender uh, with sheet metal to kind of match the uh, over fender and match it to that radius there. So I know it sounds a little crazy, sounds a little uh, out there, but just trust me on this. Uh, this is going to turn out good uh, because there are going to be some areas that are a little bit exposed. Uh, and, you know, we uh, basically we're trying to cover those areas up. So um, we're going to get the get the wheel test fit on here. Go ahead and get the fender mounted. Let's so go ahead and finish the video up. <laughs> So after you saw that, it took about six hours, give or take uh, an hour or two. Um, we cut the front fenders, we cut the rear fenders, we hammered it up, we followed the radius, we did all that, made it flush, and we put the car down on the ground, and it fits pretty flush. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, this is something that I really want to do. I been planning on doing something like this for a good amount of time and had a lot of friends that have actually been supportive and have done this already, so I kind of had an idea of what I was doing. As you saw with the front, uh, fenders. Uh, it actually came out pretty flush. Um, I have a little bit of an issue. My uh, lug nuts are a little bit too long. They're actually hitting the back of the hub so when the wheel spins you hear kind of a clicking noise. So I'll address that. The car's not going anywhere so that'll be okay for now. We'll work on the other side at a later date. Uh, and with the rears here you can actually see slightly on the inside of the fender well on the inside of here um, there is an open space, but that will be taken care of. I'm going to be uh, coming up with some type of fender liner to kind of go on the inside to kind of cover that up. Um, right now, uh, the spring is as low as it can go, so I'll probably figure something out. I might keep this height. I might actually space it out a little bit more, but all in all, I like the finished product. So guys, thank you guys for watching the Be Redo channel. I uh, hope you like this build series. I'm uh, going to be stretching this out for a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to make it too long, but uh, as you saw, this took about six hours to do, and I don't really have another six hours to work on this. So um, give this video a thumbs up if you like the video. Give me a thumbs down if you dislike it. And if you give me a thumbs down, please go down to the description down below and leave me a comment and tell me why. You can tell me what I can do to improve and I'll do my very best to accommodate. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys stop by the Beam Redude Automotive Garage. Pick yourself up an item so you can support the channel. So guys, thank you guys for watching and as always, peace out and Godspeed.